Hey gang, how you doing? Today we are taking a look at the Zeo Racer Zord and Red Ranger from Saban's Power Rangers Super Mega Force. This set comes with the key for the Red Zeo Ranger, even though it doesn't look like it's sitting in the box correctly. Top of the box is still all of those awesome Red Rangers. Back of the box is exactly like all the other figures, which, no surprise. Red Ranger, bottom of the box, Warning! Don't swallow! Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look. Like the Delta Runner before it, the Neo Racer Zord comes with the Zord itself, two identical missiles to the Delta Runner, the Key, and the Red Ranger. And the Red Ranger can surf atop the Zeo Puncher, or Zeo Racer. I'm not going to show you that because I think it's stupid. Whee! Anyway, so the overall look of the Zord is actually pretty cool. It kind of looks like a drill tank with the drills replaced with two giant robot fists. I can dig that. Again, like the Delta Runner that I showed in, my, in a previous review, it looks like it's supposed to attach to something in the future. Maybe this is going to attach to the Curex Megazord or something. I don't know yet, but... Looks like it's supposed to attach to some things. Overall, it's a very cool looking vehicle mode. It has the exact same weird gimmicks that the Delta Runner had. So the first alternate mode is you split the back apart and recombine them backwards. And then you have this weird mode that nobody can actually tell me what it is. And then you can also do the other odd mode with it having a battle platform. So snap it together, reach behind the fists and pull out these pins, like so, plug it in, and then give it a missile. And you have the most awkward fist-to-cuff battle platform ever, ever, ugh, anywhere. And then again, we have the key to launch the weapon. So plug the key in the back and fire. Oh, that shot better than the Delta Runner. But as you can see, weirdest battle platform ever. Like the Delta Runner before it, I have discovered that the front blasters or fists can be wielded by a variety of other figures in completely different toy lines. So to combine with the legendary Megazord, first we will take the center part fold up its tabs and plug it in, but again, it's like they forgot to actually put the peg holes in. So you just kind of sit it in there, and yeah, it's gonna fall out eventually, or if nothing else, the other bits will break off, but yeah, it just sits there. And then for the fists, they don't actually peg in, he actually is supposed to hold them as guns, which, okay. I wasn't expecting that, but I don't think the bad guys are going to expect giant fist guns either. And then the bottom parts are just simply supposed to peg into the sides of the legs, like so. So, uh, yeah. There we go. A little weird looking, not gonna lie. Not too bad looking, definitely weird. And after a few minutes of overly combining fun, I have devised the Trigger Happy Megazord. So we have the Dragon Zord down there at the feet with the claws and the wings for flight, and then we have all the guns! Overall, the Zeo Racer Zord is interesting, and it's unique. We've never had a Zord like this. And I like the idea that they took the uh, Red Battleizer, or Red Battle Zord, the Red Punching Zord from Zeo, and turned it into a vehicle. Yeah, it's a little bit silly, and yes, they are reusing parts here. They are reusing a transformation, and they're reusing these back pieces. That's from the Delta Runner, but I don't mind. It works well, and I think this is one actually worth picking up, because it's just silly. So guys, I hope you enjoy this video review of the Zeo Racer Zord from Power Rangers Super Mega Force. I'm Spade of the Bolt Matrix, and I will catch you next time.